this tutorial provides an introduction to databases. It explains what they are, how to use them, and describes some of the terminology that databases use. A database is an electronic resource where journal articles, book chapters, and conference papers are indexed. Databases are searched by entering keywords which can be applied to different fields, for example, subject, author, title, journal title. Databases provide a much more sophisticated way to find relevant journal articles. Traditionally, databases only gave the means to find the journal articles. That is, it would provide you with the citation details, which include the title of the article, the author, the journal title it is from, and year, volume number, and page numbers. You will often find an abstract of the article, which will provide a brief overview of the journal article. Increasingly, databases are providing a link to the full text of the article, where an electronic version is available. Look out for the link source logo for connections to link through to the full text. There are two types of searches, basic and advanced. The basic search, which is sometimes called a quick search, provides an easy way to start searching the database using a simple keyword or author approach. The advanced search allows you to search for a combination of search terms using the Boolean logic operators, and, or, and not. The next few slides demonstrate how Boolean operators are used in databases. When searching databases, some search screens will include a drop-down box allowing you to choose your operator, as seen here in the Medline database. Some search engines like Google automatically add AND for you, so you don't need to use it, but you do need to understand it. When you link your terms with AND, you will reduce the number of results you receive because you are making your search more specific. The more terms you link together, the fewer results you will have but the more specific they will be. Some databases will expect you to type in your operators. These databases or search engines will expect you to type in your operators. The example given here is the quick search option of the Emerald database. The more databases you use, the more you will find that although there will be slight differences between each of them, they all follow the same general principles. Look for the online help which is available in most databases to help you make the best use of the database when searching. Field searching means that you can use the way the database has been constructed to your advantage when searching. As the information in the record is entered as separate units into fields, for example, author, title, source, for journal title, etc. You can search using these specific elements and retrieve the information you want very quickly. For example, if you know that a particular author has published an article in a journal indexed by a database, you can retrieve references to his or her articles by putting the name in the author field and the journal title in the source field. This is an example from the CINAHL database. Similarly, if you know the title of an article and the author, but not when and where it was published, you may be able to find the details by selecting the author and title fields by clicking on the arrows on the right to display the options for field searching. If you enter the information you know in the author and title fields, then search, the database will search for occurrence of both these units of information and produce a record with the full citation details. Keyword searching can produce huge numbers of results and you may struggle to find the ones relevant to your specific subject. 
database may have picked out the record if the keyword appeared in the abstract, for example, but the actual article referred to it may not actually be about your subject. Using the subject's headings or thesaurus option helps to identify the subject terms most closely related to your area of interest. You can then follow them through to search only for those references which have been judged to be dealing with that subject to a greater or lesser extent. With some databases, such as Medline and its medical subject headings, this system is highly developed, with others less so. Check to see if there's a link to subject headings or look for search tips on the screen before you start. This slide shows the details of a record found in a Scopus search. The citation or reference provides you with all the information you need to find the article. The abstract gives you a summary of the article you have found. Keywords indicate the words that have been used to index the article. Links to the full text are provided where available or via link source. Finally, there is an option for you to mark the record or add to a list to print, save or email for future reference. Some of your lecturers may recommend particular databases for you to use, or you may decide to pick one to start with from a list recommended by your liaison librarian. It is important to remember that searching databases is a process of trial and error. If you find that you're not finding any articles, it may be because different keywords have been used to index the articles and your keywords are not recognised, so try searching again using different ones. Check out the online help features if you're not sure where to start. Many now provide mini tutorials that guide you through the search options. If you feel like you need more assistance, then sign up to one of our workshops, where you can apply the techniques learnt here in a practical session. We're always happy to help. If you have any inquiries, then please ask at the subject inquiries point at the LRC or speak to your liaison librarian.